you born, man? Uh, huh? Where was I born? That's right. I said, where were you born? I was born in East L.A., man. I was born in East L.A. Oh, yeah. Okay, my East L.A. family. So we're going to go ahead and take care of pool LED lights, and they're going to look really cool once you're done. So once again, I'm not a trained professional. So this little warning, I'm not an electrician, definitely use proper precautions. You don't want to get electrocuted. So you can do this while you're underwater. There's a screw that you unscrew. You just got to jump in there, take off that screw. The whole light assembly will come out. Basically you just pull it out and it has a long cord. The uh, cord is definitely long enough so you can just take it above water level and you can work on it but in my case i drained my pool which i had to repaint it and there's a video on that so go ahead and look for that so you could uh go ahead and uh, repaint your pool if you need to and fix the cracks while you're at it but we're gonna go ahead and uh, remove all this old stuff after i drained my pool and uh took off all this uh old adhesive right at the uh right at the wire right there where it goes in so basically that's just so you know you can prevent water from going up in there and, and hopefully your doesn't damage your your cable all the some of it's underwater but you definitely don't want to have a short in there where water will go in there but that's the uh, hole that basically holds the whole light assembly i went ahead and chiseled a lot of stuff out of there just because it's old debris from plaster and other stuff and went ahead and vacuumed all that but I went ahead and did the uh, swimming pool and the spa light as well so both lights removed them um, went ahead and uh, chisel everything cleaned it all out and uh, just basically got it all as best as I could didn't have to be perfect because uh, you know I mean, it's gonna be underwater but you definitely don't want all that stuff under so vacuumed it all out so once again remove all that in there at the wire without damaging the wire you definitely don't want to damage the wire and um, and just remove as much as you can and then we're going to get some uh, fresh stuff in there so this pool putty is the, that stuff that i removed and basically this stuff is waterproof it'll harden itself and and all you got to do is just combine both uh, the blue and the white um, parts uh, as you can tell right here i cut them about an inch wide and uh, go ahead and just remove the uh, wrapping and uh, mix them together so in my case i'm uh, cutting it in midair and removing it and as you can see i'm cutting the uh, white one off right here in midair and accidentally bang the camera so you don't want to do that so let's go ahead and uh we're doing the second part for the uh spa light here on a little piece of wood or some kind of table just so you can uh, get yourself uh, a little better hold of the uh, of each tube so uh, like i said between uh, three quarters of an inch or an inch wide it's all you need and uh we're gonna go ahead and cut them off afterwards cut the edges right here it's much easier in this way on a little piece of board remove that cardboard on both of them and once you do that then you're going to go ahead and grab both pieces and you're just going to pretend you're a five-year-old or a ten-year-old playing with uh, play-doh just going to mix it all nice and neat just get it all nice and soft making sure that both of them are, are mixing and blending together as much as you can so use your fingers just work it that's why i have gloves so you don't have to worry about getting your hands dirty especially if you have your nice beautiful hands that you don't want to mess up so make it into a nice little ball and we're going to basically just push that in there against the uh, wire and this right here is aqua bond uh, basically this is just a tape that i'm just going to wrap around the actual wire right in front of the uh the putty and that's just to another another thing just that'll prevent water from seeping in there so uh, it's waterproof it's really sticky so definitely recommend it just as soon as you cut it uh, go ahead and put it in there and as you can tell my pool is now painted so i've already done the process of repainting my pool but i wasn't going to finish the lights till afterwards since there was no need of reinstalling the lights without the pool being redone so so right now we're going to continue with the lights uh, once i got all that or it hardened up a couple of days you know, all you need is 24 hours in reality but 
here's the base where I already removed the bulb, the old bulb, and the reason I wanted to replace the light also since I was repainting the pool is because the original light bulb, not only is it outdated, it's old, it's big, it's clunk, clunky, but um, it's also, uh, uh, these are the uh, both of the rings when I opened up the uh, light, but um, going back to the uh, light bulb, the light bulb, the original light bulb uses about 200 to 500 watts per bulb, and uh, if you're trying to save ele electricity energy from your home, you don't want that electric bill to be high, you definitely want to get rid of these uh, big old clumpy things, so these are your typical, it says right here, pool and spa bulbs, and like I said, 200 to 300 watts. And uh, if you can see right here, this is the new LED pool light. Now this one, uh, I bought two of them, but this one saves 80% more energy. It comes with a remote. I'm gonna use this one on the swimming pool. So I didn't state it on the box as far as the wattage, but um, I'll show you that this one's only 35 watts. And this one, like I said, comes with a remote, which this is a little handy remote that you could basically control it from home. It has a little antenna like your first cell phone. Hello, back hello. in the days. Hello. No. Can't call anybody on this, but we'll go ahead and uh, use that once uh, it's all installed and ready to go. So, uh, so this is the bulb right here, LED light bulb that will save us a lot more on our energy bill. Our electric bill will be as high. And uh, like you said, it's much less. So here's the uh, wattage, 35 watts for this bulb right here. Of course, it's made in China. I'm not too crazy about China. Boo. The reason why is my father got laid off from his factory job in California just because the factory moved to China. But anyways, here we go. Uh, we're going to go ahead and move this seal. This is the old seal, as you can see. You know, it's dirty, it's nasty, it might have still been good enough to use, but these seals are about $15 for a pack of two, so I might as well just replace both and get this nice little glass clean. As you can see, I wanted to uh, be super clean where, where I installed the new LED lights. It'll be nice and bright and it'll shine right through. And these linen gaskets, like I said, were $15 on Amazon, so I'll go ahead and have a look for that. But we got two of them, one for the spa and one for the pool. I'm just going to replace, show you how to replace one of them here. And of course, the second one will be the same way, but it's not very hard. It's just like, uh, there we go, just like getting the... Uh, a seal around a, a lens, or I don't know, whatever lens you have. You're basically just wrapping it around, making sure it's nice and snug and everything around the edges. There's no gaps, nothing damaged. Everything is good, just so you can get a good seal in. And the seal could go e either way. Hey, there's no uh, top side or bottom side to it. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean this this ring here just to get the chrome nice and shiny because uh, once it's underwater it's too late. You can't take a rag there and clean it. And my rag of course is my old muscle shirt. So this light right here is the second light I got. So this is the uh, spa light. This one does not come with a remote. So LED light, no remote. So you don't get one of these old cell phones right here. But this one's going to go up there in the spa. We're going to install that one in the spa, no remote, but you can definitely click the switch on and off and it'll switch lights for you. And then this one's going to be the pool light, so we're going to install that one in the pool light. So we'll start off with the pool light. So as you can see, I already installed the bulb. It's easy as any bulb, I don't need to show you how to do that. Uh, once I have the light, as you can see, it reaches the top side. I've got my nicely clean lens with the new seal. Now I want to make sure that the base around the uh, light bulb is clean. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my old muscle shirt again. 100% cotton. Just clean it, wipe it all around there. Just so you can get a nice seal. So the new seal can sit there with no debris or anything. Now there's a top side. You'll see the light has a side that says top and also the uh, light itself, the glass, has um, your little top arrow. And same thing with the ring. So you gotta make sure you align all top arrows upwards. So align the top side. So, um, and if the um, 
it lends itself doesn't have the arrows, most likely you'll have some lettering there and you want to make sure that lettering is also there. Now these J hooks I was pointing at is you want to make sure this, this cable goes around and, and hooks inside those J hooks perfectly because that's really what's going to give it the seal. You're going to tighten this bolt in there with the um, with a nut and a washer. And here I'm grabbing the uh, nut and the washer and uh, make sure that's nice and snug to add some pressure and, and give you a nice tight seal so it won't leak water into the bulb area. And of course this is a 10 millimeter so we're using the uh, 10 millimeter combination wrench and got my Makita here just to tighten it all up. Snug tight so something as easy as this get it all nice and tight with the new seal in there. Make sure you don't damage none of the J hooks and they're all um, looking good with the the wire basically inside and, and then you just you know before you tighten it all the way down just inspect it so as you can see it has all these holes but there's one hole that goes at the top that's basically where you're going to mount it to your pool so once you get all that done there's the uh, cable again the cable is super long there's the top side so you want to make sure that the top side which both the cable is pointing up where the uh, top arrow is there and then you want to make sure this little tab inserts into that little slot there and uh, once we insert that tab into that slot, we could go ahead and align the hole for the screw and screw this bad boy back in there. So I want to make sure we uh, get the cable nice and curled up in there, get that tab aligned. Once we get, once we get that tab aligned, we go ahead and align the screw hole and go ahead and uh, start getting your screw in there. So. My pool is actually 12 feet deep, so I'm actually standing tippy toes right here, and I'm like on the side of a hill, so it's very uncomfortable. Sometimes I gotta fall back just to uh, take a break and stand on something flat. But as you can see, I went ahead and tightened it up. Lights all install. My pool is painted, so it's ready to add some water. And there you go. Once I got the water in, flicked on the switch and my lights are coming on of course it doesn't look as beautiful in the daytime but as you can see that's the pool light and then we're going to go over here and check out the spotlight turning on as well everything is bright and nice and clean but let's take a look at it in the dark at nighttime so we'll go ahead and uh, get a shot here for you at nighttime and there we go there's a spa pool and that's pretty much it boys and girls thank you for watching once again university of east la this is saving energy while we're looking good so for more videos more information please keep watching our videos click the like button and subscribe and we'll make sure we continue to bring the do-it-yourself videos. Thank you for watching once again. University of East Los Angeles. I got one thing to ask you and nothing more. So answer in English, if you can. Where were you born, man? Huh? Where was I born?